why don't we get any good movies anymore? Whatever happened to the idea, guy has an idea for a movie, good script, gets some good actors, makes the movie. Now, we have studios making movies, just pumping out movies one after the other to make money. Whatever happened to someone putting, the, like, you know, putting their thoughts and ideas and emotions on the paper and then putting it into a, putting it into film? What ever happened to that? Why do we get someone where, like, oh, what we're going to do? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have CGI here. We're going to have a bunch of, oh, yeah, and then we're going to have more CGI. Then we're going to have fight scenes. And then we're going to have cut, cut, like, you know, like four different, 400 different cuts for a two-second scene of someone hitting someone in the face. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll sell tickets. Why don't we have anything worthwhile what, to challenge my thoughts? I mean, like, the only one, the only reason one, and I know, I don't know if anyone liked this, but Glory of Bastards, great movie. I really love that movie because it was just hilarious. It introduced some ideas to myself. It made me think a little bit. But that's the last movie. I mean, like, I, there was been, there's barely been any movies to come out that have really, really challenged me or had me, like, had me thinking after it, you know? I mean, when did our society become so boring that we have to, you know, rely on adrenaline rushed 400 cut a second movies? I mean, it just, it just annoys the shit, living shit out of me. I mean, and I want to make the point across, there's nothing wrong with those movies that just entertain you because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with those. Those are fun movies, but because, I mean, I love those kinds of movies. I mean, I love Crank, Crank 2, uh, just any, I mean, like, anything that's just entertainment. But as long as there's the good movies, like, you know, like, I, there's, I have a good film. I always have said this sort of, I don't know if this makes any sense to anyone else, but I have said there are such thing as a good film and a good movie. And, like, I want to explain, like, a good film is one, you know, it's a film that makes you, I mean, it is emotions and thought pouring off onto the screen. That's what a good film is. And a good movie is something that, just, like, entertains you and, you know, makes you, you know, puts you in a good mood or something like that. That's a good movie. A good film and a good movie, two completely different things. I don't know if anyone else thinks like that, but I do. Anyways, back on topic. One thing we never, uh, my hair's kind of fucked up. The one thing we never have anymore is a good movie. I mean, like, good movies to me are simply just, seriously, they, they are just, they mean so much to me. I mean, I want to be a filmmaker. If you have any good movies, please, 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 or good directors or film, like, in any filmmaker, please, please, please recommend to me because I'm only limited to the movies that I know about that I can watch, you know, because there's only so many I mean, I can't go back. I mean, I have IMDb, of course, but I can't just, I have to know the name of the movie, so please, 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 if you're going to post a comment, recommend one good movie that you've seen. Now, some of my favorite movies are, like, you know, these more good, yeah, are, like, anything by Kubrick, uh, Tarantino, Raimi, Tim Burton, all of them, they have all my favorite movies, like, all of my favorite movies are made by them. Whatever happened to filmmakers like that? Now we have studios appointing, like, a studio director to go and make a CGI shit fest, fest, uh, shit fest excuse me, of people for, with an attention span of three seconds, so that way they can make a quick buck off of it. It's just repulsive to see these movies. Transformers 2 was horrible. Anyone who liked that, you guys are, no, it fucking sucked. I guess what I'm trying to say is movies are dying as an art form, and it's kind of worrying me because the people that actually are, want to make the art can't get a job because the studios will hire those people because it's less likely to do well at the box office because, you know, people don't like anything that's a little, that's different than them. I know that firsthand. I have to, like, I'm not going to get into all that. But people don't like anything different. They don't like different ideas. They don't like something that might challenge what they believe in. They don't like something 
that might get an emotion out of them. They don't like anything that makes them think. They don't like something that makes them human. They want to be ignorant and happy. The people who make the movies, the studios, are enabling that. And it's really, really just scary. I want to talk about this book I'm reading right now. It's called uh, Fahrenheit 451. I'm sure people have heard of it. If not, go check it out. It's a good book. For it. It's really, really good. Um, not about... I just finished uh, part two of it. Anyways, it's a really, really good book. One thing that's starting to kind of um, worry me is that it is really, really accurate of the present we live in. It's not even funny. I mean, we are so ignorant of the world around us that we have to have stupid movies and TV shows to keep us happy, to keep our minds off of things that matter. And it's just scary i mean there's no satire anymore there's no social commentaries with the exception of sasha baron cohen i mean i know a lot of people hate him for hating bruno but that really was a good movie if you get the what he's trying like the, the underlying tones of it, it he does a good job i mean that was a, a i thought that was a good film i mean like it was funny and it had some introduced ideas that example well they didn't really introduced him it's more of use them because it, it's introducing i don't know one of it's introducing the ideas to the homophobes the one thing i really don't like about that movie is a lot of the homophobes think that it's making fun of gays and it's really really helped meant to help gays and it really really bugs me about that but i don't know there's nothing there's nothing really uh all right and if, I'm gonna end the video right here. Movies are dying as an art form. It's saddening. We don't like. We don't have anything that will, you know, that will uh, let us. That will make us think. Make us show our emotions. Make us, you know, get the emotion out of us. And it's just a horrible thing. Uh, comments are favorite if you agree. And please, please recommend me some movies because I'm looking to watch. I'm, I, I go to Blockbuster every week, so let me know.